Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another pep talk, P-E-P, -E passionately empowering people. Today's topic is keep flexing, keep flexing. I want you to, I want to empower somebody to keep flexing because somebody somewhere is going to notice your muscle. Uh, I created this, these pep talks, uh, it was actually just an idea at first and I presented it to uh, one of my business partners who's also a close friend of mine and he just kept asking me, you know, when, when's the pep talk coming out? You know, when you're going to produce the first pep talk? And he kept saying it over and over and it sounded kind of like a, a fly or maybe a mosquito in your ear. You know how you hear that zzz, zzz, and then you want to smack, you know, get it out your ear. So I eventually I said, I'm going to go on and shut him up because I'm tired of him asking me, when is this pep talk going to be you know, done? When's the initial one going to be put out there? So I went ahead and did it. Uh, back in July of this year, I went ahead and did the first pep talk. And I not only did the first pep talk, but I did several more after that. So he would stop asking me when's the next one, when's the next one. So I got to thank him for noticing how I was flexing and pushing me to uh, continue to flex. And uh, I, like I said, I told you I'm a nurse by trade. I'm an entrepreneur by spirit. And I noticed something this weekend at work. You know, a co-worker uh, just came up to me and said, hey, you know, I like those pep talks you've been doing. And not only said that they enjoyed them and liked them, but gave me some more ideas. Said, hey, you need to uh, start a YouTube channel. Might even need to write a book. Uh, you need to do do something because this is really uh, not just motivational or inspirational, but there's not a lot of people uh, doing it in this area. And, and we definitely need it uh, in this area, uh, not just, you know, in the city of Memphis, but across the world. Uh, people need to be empowered. A lot of people don't know that they have power from within to create the kind of life that they've always dreamed of. And that's all this is about is empowering people to keep flexing your muscle because somebody somewhere is going to notice you and they're going to walk with you as you walk your walk. They're going to be able to relate to your story. Now, why, why would you do that? Because uh, birds of a feather flock together. If you run around with nine broke people, I guarantee you, you will become number 10. But if you walk around with lions, if you walk around with kings and queens, eventually you will be a king and queen yourself. So somebody's going to notice that you are flexing. They're going to notice the consistency and the persistent, uh, relentless pursuit of you flexing. And whatever your flex might be, you might want to be a lawyer, you might want to be a doctor, you might want to be a, a banker, a, a investor, you know, whatever it is you flexing, somebody's going to notice and they're going to they're going to help you. They're not just going to help you, but they're going to help you along and and help you walk through your journey. Now, everybody's not going to notice you flex, but some people will because there's people that you can touch with your life story that I can't touch. You know, somebody somewhere is going to they're going to want to know why you carry on. They're going to want to know why you refuse to give up. They're going to they're going to want to know what is it that that keeps you getting out of the bed every morning? What is it that keeps you going on despite your many health challenges, your health conditions? What, what is it that makes you uh, hang on to this mindset that I'm not gonna give up until, and you fill in the blank, whatever that is. Somebody somewhere is gonna be touched by your story and inspired and feel empowered that to say, hey, if he or she can do it, I can do it. So. Keep flexing. That's what this is about. Keep on flexing. Keep on doing your routine. Uh, and if your routine is not working for you, you need to change your routine. Don't You don't want to reach the point of death to realize that you are still pregnant with some ideas that you never gave birth to. So you got to take advantage of the opportunity of a lifetime in the lifetime of the opportunity. Be willing to do whatever it takes. Don't settle for less. Don't take no for an answer. Every time you hear a no, just understand it's part of the process and it's taking you that step, uh, that much more closer to your yes. So you will win if you don't quit. I heard Les Brown say, uh, you will win if you don't quit because even a broke clock is right twice a day. 
So never quit, never give up, and continue to keep on flexing your muscle. Be willing to do whatever it takes because there's, there's two ways you can live life. You can either lead, live your dreams or you can live your fears. And some people are living their worst nightmare day in and day out because they are afraid to change. They are afraid to flex. Keep flexing and don't be afraid to live your dreams. You know, uh, some people are just hanging on to or, or settling for less, just settling for what's been given to them. As an, as an employee, I say to you, do not settle for what your employer is willing to pay you. You know, as long as you depend on your employer for your income, your outcome will never be dependable. We've all worked at jobs where we ourselves have either been let go with a moment's notice or we know somebody that this happened to. And it doesn't matter if you worked at that job for a year or 15, 20 years. All of us know that story. So as long as you are dependent on your employee for your income, your outcome will never be dependable. And minimum wage, you know, I hear people fighting for minimum wage. Those people, if they keep on fighting, they will be heard. They, they not only will be heard, but people are going to uh, latch on and continue to uh, help them uh, continue to fight the good fight. And people will walk with them as they walk their walk. But I say, why fight for minimum wage when you can fight for maximum wage? You know, don't limit your possibilities for your income. Don't limit your possibilities for your life. Don't limit your income according to what your boss says your salary is going to be. You can decide your own economy. You can decide how much you, you are worth. And once you decide how much you're worth, Put a stamp on it and don't settle for less. Set the standard and don't be set by the standard. So as you survey your life, as you look around the landscape of your life and your current situation, remember your, your, your current process and thought, your current thought process and your current daily routine has gotten you where you are today. So if you don't like where you are today, it's time to reevaluate who you are and who you've been so that you can have a better tomorrow, a brighter tomorrow. And a lot of people think that they are in competition with other people. You ain't in competition with anybody but yourself. Keep flexing your muscle because you, no one else can compare to you. No one else can compete with you. You are the only you this world has ever seen. So don't compete with somebody else. Compete with the best self of yesterday. Whatever you did yesterday, you can do better today and even greater tomorrow. So challenge yourself to keep flexing. Don't stay in the current situation and predicament that you're in if it's not where you want to be. If you are where you want to be, fine. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you're anything like me and you have average skill but phenomenal will, keep flexing your muscle. Someone, somebody somewhere will notice your muscle. So if you don't like your current state, remember, remember you are the author of your life. God is within. He's not without. He's within. So every step of the way, you have the power to change and rearrange and produce your desired results. But you got to take ownership of that. And you got to Realize who you are and whose you are and never settle for less. And listen, that's my time. I just want to empower you to keep flexing, uh, keep striving to be better than you was the day before. And remember, somebody somewhere is going to see you just as they saw me. And, and, and I'm not the richest man in the world, but I don't I'm not going to settle for what I did yesterday is being the best that I can produce. I can produce more. I can produce even better uh, things than I produced yesterday. So each and every day, I'm going to keep challenging myself and keep flexing my muscle so that I can get better, be better, and empower others to get better and be better. 
And listen, that's my time. As I always say, I am passionately empowering people. I'm aligned with some very wealthy business owners and entrepreneurs who are serious about helping people flex their muscle, helping people uh, continue to fight the good fight and get out of the rut that they might be stuck in so that they cre can create a better life for them and their families and, and create a better future for their, their whole family tree. So you can leave a legacy. So you can create an inheritance for your children's children. If I'm speaking to you and you are you are serious and, and you want to keep flexing and you want to uh, design a better lifestyle for you and your family, we need to talk. We need to get together. You need to surround yourself with like-minded people who are on the same mission as you because uh, each and every one of us, we can all do great things individually. But when we come together, we can accomplish anything. So let's get together. Let's talk. If you want more information on the Financial Freedom Project, if you want to uh, get some great mentoring. See, a lot of us, uh, we we really can't progress because we don't know that we don't know. And what's worse is we think we know. So you can't see the picture when you're in the frame. If you need uh, some help seeing the greatness that's within you, having somebody else uh, show you that they believe in you even at a time when you might be struggling to believe in yourself I can put you in contact with some very wealthy people who can uh, help you strategize and plug into a system that has created a lot of success for a lot of people even more success than your current employer is um, probably going to ever try to show you in your lifetime so if you if you want more information on the financial freedom project if you uh if you just like the message hey just uh click like uh if you want more info 901-646-1393 shoot me an inbox more info let's get together let's make some uh things happen and don't ever forget to keep flexing listen that's my time i'm passionately empowering people to live for today but plan for tomorrow God bless.